I'm Taylor. I'm Nick. And I'm Megan. And our project is the Oceanic Adaptive Cybersecurity System. Um, in nature, there are a variety of organisms that have lasted for thousands of years using specialized mechanisms to protect themselves, particularly in the ocean. We believe that we can harness these abilities to create a cybersecurity system. Um, our objective is to increase security in a network by borrowing defense mechanisms from oceanic animals such as hermit crabs, schools of fish, um, jellyfish, and octopi. Um, we believe that these organisms process unique defense, um, possess unique defense mechanisms that when combined will produce a strong defensive system. So in order to combine these elements, we've designed a layered security system. The outermost layer is gonna be the observation layer. It's going to act like a school of fish and detect incoming threats. And when it does, it will alert the rest of the program that a threat is incoming. The threat analysis layer will determine the type of threat and the level of the threat, and it'll pass that down as well. The defense layer is responsible for slowing the attacker and providing more time for the lower layers to react. The transfer logistics layer is responsible for determining whether the data on the server needs to be moved to a different server, or if some of the data is okay staying on the server as long as it's disguised. The transfer layer is gonna be responsible for moving the data from the server it's on to an external server, and the mimic layer is gonna be responsible for camouflaging the data that's staying on the server and making it look like something that's not worth attacking. The command layer is gonna determine what kind of counterattack is best suited based on the attacker. And the counterattack layer will, of course, go and destroy the attacking program. Uh, the arsenal layer is going to house all the counterattacks available to the program. And as more attacks come in against the program, the counterattack layer will destroy them, and the arsenal layer will be updated with the information from those attacks. So in this way, we're going to have a security system that will adapt over time as more attacks come against the program, more attacks will be destroyed, and the system will learn how to defend itself against those attacks and use those attacks to defend against other threats. So, as far as originality goes, there have been like a general concept before of an adaptive security system, but none of them have been like adapted as ours is gonna be, because ours is gonna take data from attacks that have happened prior to it, and it's gonna use that in future attacks against the attackers. And there's also, again, another like general concept of layered cybersecurity, but it was more like layered like defense layers. Like after they break into one layer, there's another layer. Well, our layers are gonna do that while doing other functions at the same time. <coughs> Here's a list of um, some of the interested companies we were looking at. And all of these companies deal with some kind of security, and we think that they would be interested in our idea for to protect all their data because they all deal with really highly top secret data. So we think that our program would be really good at protecting it. Here's our references that we use. Any questions? Okay, that seems like really intricate to me being not a computer person or you know however there's so many layers that you have mentioned right um so those are like program computer programs that you put in as a layer a yeah. type of layer a computer yes. program of one layer a computer program of another layer so um how much of these you think you can accomplish by november or is there any of those that you can possibly We'll have to look into it. It's a pretty complicated process, and I'm not okay. sure we have the background to actually build it. But uh -huh. we'll so, are you really building those the programs for those layers? You have to ideally. Yeah, yeah, that's the process. So, what's the initial step? Like, what? Where are you going to go first? We'll probably start with the outer layer, the detection layer. To the determine. detection layer is the yeah. very first one. Yeah, I think it's going to be easiest for us when we're developing it to start like from the outside and to work in. Uh -huh. Because I think that the outside layers are going to be like the least complex. Okay. Because like we anticipate them to be able to break into those. Probably that's why we have all the layers built up behind it. So if we can even build just the first layer, we'll be like really happy. 
Because it's yeah, exactly. really complicated. It's more like the yeah the concept at the moment. Yeah. And more developing it. Now you mentioned about there are already some data available on some of those hacking that has been done that you're trying to do a program to to uh, go against those, right? Well, are those already available. Yeah. <coughs> Our ideal situation would be for the program to after someone attacks it to store like how they attacked the program and for the program to then use that attack on a different person attacking. So like because uh, it comes from an octopus. Mm -hmm. They can take, um, I believe it's the Portuguese man of war. Yes. And they can take the tentacles from it and use it against other organisms. So mm -hmm. after reading that, we thought that'd be kind of cool if a program could do that. It is, I think. <laughs> it is, to, I guess it's the implementation, right? The yeah. The possibility of that. Um, to be actually used is, it would be phenomenal. Yeah. So, um, which company do you think will be utilizing this? That you, oh, those are the ones? Those are some of them that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. um, I know Computer Science Corporation, because my dad works for it, so I mean, mm -hmm. maybe we could get in there um, and they could like help us develop it. Like, yes. we more want to, Propose like the concept to a company, mm -hmm. and then to take more control of it because they're more experienced than us, and then we can learn from it. Dr. Samara, I see you're a mentor, yeah. right? Um, has he contributed a lot on like how to go with? Because I know you guys. I don't know if you guys are already very familiar with programming and stuff. And like we okay. said, this is just an initial, right? It's a yeah. concept that um, you guys can carry out even up to the you know up to your graduation, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so if you are to take this to the next level, you know, do you, do you, have you identified, apart from your mentor, because I know he can really guide you on this, have you identified other, you know, possible people in the university that might help you? Not at the moment, but we're definitely going to look into it, and I think um, if we ask our mentor, he'll know people too. Yes, yeah. That I, I think, think he'll really good. help us a lot. All right, so we're expecting some initial report in November, right? Yeah. That would be cool. Any questions? 